Hello there. Today we are going to see something about iterative deepening A star algorithm. Let me go through this pointer first. Let me take a pen. I'll go with the red color. There is no issues. Uh, today class will be a bit longer because we are going to solve this problem. Iterative deepening A star algorithm. Uh, before I start the class, once again, I request you, to, if you like the video, please do subscribe my channel. First, we'll see about the depth first search. In order to go to the iterative deepening algorithm, we need to go from the basic. So, in this video, I am going to give you the concept of DFS, DLS and all those things. Then, we are going to solve the problems on this one we are going to solve about two problems on this one now let's take an example i will go with the def first search this is my graph first i'll go with a and my goal is j okay i'll go to b a to b then b to c b to d d to h then i'll go back backtrack then B, I have to go to E, B, D, B, H, then E, then I'll, first I'll compare with this one goal, is it? No, then again I'll go backtrack, A, then I'll back to, to C, is this our goal? No, then I'll backtrack to F, is this our goal? Backtrack, we have already done, then goal, then what is this? We, we find the goal, G, is represent this. Now let's take an example, how we are going A, then we are going to B, then we are going to D, then we are going to H. Now, if suppose, if there are more nodes, then I have to go first all these deep position, then I have to come back. If my goal is here, then it will take time. I have to go this way, then I have to come back and I'll have to come back. This is called deep or depth first search correct so we are going to this part then the other part this is the drawback of depth first search and if this is infinity i am going to the infinity part then i am going to get part next what is that depth limited search depth limited this is zero this is one this is two this is three there is a limit now let's take an example i made my goal as h first step first i'll go with goal g sorry i'll go with goal g first now depth i uh, i'll i'll make it to different color pointer ink uh, color i'll make it to this one okay now my depth further limit i made it to two depth zero a fine i'll go to b i'll go to d because my depth is only two so i have to stop here only d i'll go back to e then i'll go back to c a i've already visited then i'll go back to f then i'll go back to c if my depth is two i can find my goal there now if my goal is h and my depth is two two then i'll be stuck here only if my depth is three and my goal is g goal is h uh, sorry if my depth is two my goal is h then i cannot go i'll be stuck if my depth is two and my goal is g i can find it but i cannot find it this is the problem of depth limited search then we'll come to depth iterative deepening algorithm. I have a graph A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So let's go. I'll first I'll kept with my goal is G, H. I'll come with zero, G. Compare with A. Let's compare with A. No, it is not there. Then move back. Then I'll increase my depth is equal to 1. What will happen? A. Again, I repeat the step. A. Then I'll go to B. Then I'll A. Compare with goal. No. Compare B with goal. Then I'll come to C. That's it. I cannot go. But this is 1. Now, I'll go to depth 2. How it is go? I increase my depth. 1 gone 2. Then I'll go to A. Then 
then I'll go to B, then I'll go to D, A, B, D, A, A, B, D, then I'll go to E, then I'll go to C, then I'll, sorry, C, then I'll go to F, then I'll go to G. This is what I'll go depth, then I'll come back, then I'll go back this way, correct? Again, I don't find it. Then I'll move my 3. So what happened? Now step when L is equal to 3, what happened? A go to B, B go to D, D go to H. I find my solution. This is, so each time it repeat the step. First step, second step, third step. So it keep on repeating the process until and until, again and until. It keep on going on until and until. This is the drawback of iterative deepening algorithm. Correct? I hope you got the concept about this one. Now let's move on to other part. Iterative deepening A star algorithm. It is a Travis graph, a path finding method that describes the shortest route on weightage between the starting node and the goal node. It uses heuristic function and to access the cost which is combination of f of n is equal to this is heuristic function if you have any doubt about a star a heuristic function there is a problem which i have there is a video which i have done it in my playlist please go through and find it for an example let's take example i have got a b c g g is my call this is my heuristic values 8 9 and this is g equal and this is my weightage 4 6. Correct. Now, if I am at C, so what is the cost of this one? G of n, 2 plus 6. That is cost. And this is at that point heuristic value. What is the value? 6. 9. So, 6. 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And what is the value here? It is getting 15. So, this is how you calculate it. In my coming problem, which is here, I have just taken only heuristic values. I haven't taken any weightage here in this one. So, this is the graph which is given without any heuristic. Whatever the value you are giving, we take it as a heuristic. In this, only heuristic values we have taken and we are going to solve it. The first step is that we will take a root node and we make it as that as our threshold value. What is the threshold value? It should be less than or equal to 2. Minimum value, whatever the value. So, uh, first step is that we take so, if 2, 2 is my threshold value, 2 is less than or equal to 2, yes. 2 is less than or equal to 2, yes. So, I can go 4, yes. Now, after 2, I visited 4 and 5, correct? 4 and 5. Now, compare, now my, my pointer is this one. Compare 4 with my threshold, it is greater. So, I cannot move. Here, 5 also it is greater with 2. 4 is greater than 2 and 5 is greater than 2. So, I, I cannot go beyond. Then, the concept of pruning por came into casting. P-U-P-R-U-N-I-N-G comes into existence. What do you mean by that pruning? Is something we diminish that part. We increase our threshold point. We increase our threshold point. What is the value? I have already visited this, which is the minimum here, 4 and 5. Correct? I will move on to next steps, which is available here. Correct? I have already done threshold this. Now, I will make my threshold to less than or equal to 4. Correct? I visited point. I visited 4. And what is my goal? Sorry, what is my goal? I have to do 15. So, this is my goal I have to take. The next step, I will go 4. Yes, I can go. Correct? Can I go here? 5. No, I cannot go. I will move back, come back here. 4. It is available. Yes, I can go. So, I can go to 4. I can visit 8 and 7. Again, I will come back here. 5. It is more. So, that this I have already done. 2, 4. I cannot go here, but I have gone this way. The marking, I have done it. I have gone this way. Now, what is the minimum? I cannot go. Now, pouring comes into existence. Now, I will change my color. Pen. Make it uh, uh, red, I think so. 
let me wait for few in color i'll make it to red now i'll make my threshold to next step step 3 step 4 <coughs> sorry step 4 what i'll do i'll make it to 4 greater than or equal to 5 now again 5 i can go yes 4 it is compared with 4 i can go come here is it guess yes i can go 5 uh, i'll come here 7 compared with goal no i cannot go because it is greater here it is greater so i'll be stuck here can i i'll come back i'll move 4 yes i can go 8 and 9 7 i cannot go i'll go back here i'll come back 5 yes i can visit 5 what is the point i have visited 6 and 6 i cannot go which is the minimum next point step i'll come back here i'll go this is my goal what is the point i have got threshold i have to think as what is the next point 6 greater than or equal to 6 so 2 i visited yes i can go 4 i can go 5 i can go 4 i can go these are the step you have to represent yourself 4 i can go sorry i will go 5 on the right hand side because i am i cannot go this i cannot go i'll go back 4 yes i can go 4 i cannot go because i am looking for 6 i'll go back 5 yes i can go i can go this way i'll be here yes 6 is 6 i can go here i cannot go here so i visited here uh, i'll be 13 and 17 i also visited this and 7 i'll come back 8 i cannot go go max 6 i can go this part this part done then again i'll increase my threshold point to 7 so i'll go back again to my next one client so now threshold is equal to 7 so i can go 2 yes 4 yes 5 compare with 7 yes again i'll go yes i can go so i'll visit at 12 and 14 i'll cannot go pouring comes into it. i'll go back 4 yes i can visit i cannot visit this one i cannot visit this one i can visit 7 so 7 i can go 13 and 8 i'll go back so that's why i'm making with 5 yes i can visit 6 5 i can go to the left side yes i can visit 6 i can visit i can i just sorry i can go for 13 and i'll be here at 7 come back i cannot 8 i cannot go here then i'll go back here 5 yes i can go 7 i can go 8 is here 14 is here i visit i cannot go this part then if i am able to then i'll make it to 8 greater than or equal to again i have to 2 then i'll go to 4 then i'll go to 5 then i'll go to 7 yes it is compare uh, then i'll go to this one this one i'll compare 8 yes i can go this part i'll go to 4 i am able to available to this one i can go to this i can go to this i'm not going beyond this 7 yes i can go 13 and 8 i'll come back here i've already visited uh, then 2 5 6 is it there 6 yes i can go 13 and 7 yes 8 yes i'll come back this is my goal i'll stop here i'm not going to go this part this is what a star iterative a star algorithm problem is that so in order to do this one we have to check with that the concept comes here with threshold and this one pointing came into existence correct this is our values we got it now in my next problem which is available i've got a b c d e g and this is my goal i've got a heuristic value 7 3 0 1 and 1 foo and this is the weightage of this one so f of n g of n came into existence here we are calculating our heuristic value initially 0 so i've got 7 at f of a so i've got 7 0 plus 7 f a to b 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 i've got 4 f a b d a b d sorry i have already gone to c also f of c that is 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 2 is nothing but g of n 1 is nothing but your heuristic value so i've got 3 f of a b d a b d that is 3 plus 1 1 plus 3 a b d is 1 plus 3 what is the heuristic value 0 i've got 4 then a b e a b e that is 1 plus 4 
1 plus 4 plus 1, heuristic value 1, that become 5 plus 1, 6, correct? Then A, C, F, A, C, A, C, I have already done it again, I have already done again. Then A, C, F is 2 plus 5 plus 2, that is 2 plus 5 is equal to 6. So, we have already calculated our heuristic values. Now, how it looks up? A, I have got 7 as it is, yes, then come back. I have got 4, B, what is the B? A to B is 4, yes. And C is 3, as you see it, we will see F to C is 3. Then come back, here I have got 4, A, B, D, sorry, A, B, D, 4. And then 6 and this. Now, calculate the threshold, minimum value, 3. Threshold is 3, less than, no. First step, we cannot move. Then, increment to 4, what is the minimum? 4 is 7, no, I cannot. Step 2, also gone. Then, make it, there is another thing, no, there is 4. Then, 6, I will make it to 6. Step 2, 4, step 6, 3, 6, no, again I cannot move because it is 7 here. Step 4, what is my threshold? I will increase, pouring I have done 7, correct? 7, 7 greater than threshold, yes it is 7. So, I move on to this one, A, correct, 4, visit minimum to 7, yes, I will go back to D, which is minimum to 4, yes, I will come back here, E. I have got my solution. So, I am not going to go this part. This is what iterative A star algorithm with heuristic function calculating. And here we have done without taking our heuristic oh, um, um, G of n values. We only got it. And before uh, I have already start all this part. Thank you very much for this one. Okay. Discard.